you gotta understand, a 27-year-old monster took advantage of a 13-year-old child. I got a, a notification from an app that we set on our son's phone. It linked directly to my phone and it picked up certain keywords and anytime those keywords were used, I received a notification. So that day, that's what happened. And I saw the conversation where her name was in there. I said, I know, so I'm just asking you to make sure it's the truth. Who is this in this message? And that's when he told me my teacher. And then I asked him all what happened between him and his teacher. And he told us that they kissed and they had sex. It's starting to hit him, the reality of what actually happened, that he was taken advantage of. If we didn't have the app and we didn't take all the steps, we'd never known that this happened to my son. And how much longer could it have gone? How many other boys could this teacher have done this to? Based on what we know thus far, the school had ample opportunity to nip this in the bud. There was so much more they could have done to prevent this from happening. The school knew that there was an inappropriate relationship going on, uh, dating back to, at the very least, early February, before this escalated into sexual molestation. I want her to spend the rest of her life in prison. Rumors that included an inappropriate schoolyard relationship between the teacher and the student. Favoritism allegations, and also rumors that the student and the teacher were actually dating and that he had impregnated her. Okay, these are rumors that the school allegedly investigated on its own without notifying the parents. The parents were not told of allegations involving an inappropriate relationship. I don't want the school to be held accountable for what they've done and changed rules and make it to where this can never happen to another parent's child. No parent should ever have to go through this.